180 to 190 million years. Yeah. The next thing is going to be the precipitation. So the precipitation yeah, is on how we get the evaporation out here. So this is created to precipitate. So the wet and dry seasons as they accumulated over millions of years. As you can see, the Navajo sandstone can hold the water, but it can't retain it. So that's why we got a lot of reservoirs on a reservation. So this is how those cross beddings in the walls are created as well too. So the next things go when the wind erosion comes back, you get the creations of mesas, toadstools, tower buttes as well too. From the wind is going to be the windy road uh, when the uplift happened. This is going to be 145 million years ago, as the Navajo sandstone was brought up to the surface, 2,500,000 feet, uh, 130,000 miles of sandstone was brought to the surface. As that was brought to the surface, oh, wow. crack oh. fissures or stress fractures are created nice. vertically. These are going to be the guidelines for when our rainy seasons come back. So the water travels from the south to the north and gets dumped in the Lake Powell, which is going to be the beginning for the Colorado River for us. Mm -hmm. There's eight canyons down south, so that's where we get the volume of water. So oh, all eight canyons is going to change the volume of water. The last time it was filled up to the top is going to be in 2013. So 2013, our flash floods, that's the last time it was filled up to the top. Oh, nice. And then right. that's how the antelope came Yep. So that's how it looks when you guys walk through as well, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. It actually does. Oh. You could show once again. And then also how the Why walls 